Welcome to my channel, my name is Sujin Yanga and in this video we will be reviewing the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Stay tuned for the video! So I just took the concealer out of the packaging and this is what it looks like. I thought it would be really nice for you to see a comparison of that next to the Fenty concealer as well. This is what the Fenty looks like and this one is just 8ml and the Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer is actually super coverage and this is a 15ml. You get a bit more inside of the Too Faced compared to the Fenty. And I don't know if you can see but my colours and my shades seem to be good. I'm really hoping that it actually suits me well and it actually like, you know, stays on my skin good. So I'm really excited to be using this because I had it for a few, I think, weeks at this point already. But I wanted to really show you what it looked like on camera and to have my first impression share with you because I haven't seen much new concealers of this or people in my area actually reviewing this concealer. So I thought it'd be great to actually, you know, just share it with you all and share you my new find. Having like my new makeshift area where I'm doing my makeup because I sold my vanity without having a replacement. I don't know if that's really smart, but I think it is. I'm making space for something new and I'm going to just wait until it comes and it flows and I get it and it'll be perfect. But for now, I, I like how it feels. It also feels much bigger compared to the Fenty. The Fenty is so tiny, like it feels nice and petite, which I also like. This one really feels like almost a foundation. I've never had a concealer that actually had such a big, even part to take it out. Maybe this might also be really cool for you to see. I might just show you what it looks like when I first take it out. So you can see I haven't even used it as yet. Ooh. And this is the color. This is the color. So you can see what it looks like. It looks really beautiful. Applicator is huge again. This is kind of like a comparison video, I guess. Because I know a lot of people actually use the Fenty. Um, but look at that. Like this is Fenty's applicator and Too Faces. But this is a multi-use sculpting concealer. It's used to conceal, contour, highlight, and retouch. So it has a lot of things it does. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to put it, because I've done my foundation, I did my eyes already, and I'm now just going to, only do the concealer on camera so you can see, and maybe just show you after what I did to my face before completing the whole overall look. But I'm going to put this on. Oh, the color looks good. Yeah, I think I did get the right color because I was worried a bit about finding the color. The applicator is so nice and it feels, it feels really moist. <laughs> I like it. Oh, I'm loving it so far. It has also a nice smell that I'm not upset about. I'm just going to put concealer on all the spots that I would normally conceal and use to highlight. And when I use concealer, I kind of use it in the way of highlighting and concealing. So I'm going to using this sponge to just make sure that I get into the spots that I want to get into but to make sure that I apply it really well I'm going to be using my Marbodesco spray the facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water is a must-have for every girl I'm just going to spray this until it gets super damp once this is nice and damp I'm just going to go ahead and the highlight it into my or the concealer into my skin it feels good This concealer was apparently having issues because of COVID restrictions and changes that happened with China and stuff. They weren't having it in stock for a really long time in Douglas. So when I saw it like a few weeks ago, I was like, oh my God, I'm just going to order it. And then when I get my nails done, which I got done, I'm going to then do a review because I've seen a lot of people raving about this concealer. And because I like to have a bit more, I'm going to just put a bit more on. For my skin color, it also looks good, like it's highlighting me in the right spot. Of course, I'm going to go in later and just contour, put powder and set everything. But I'm now just blending everything into my skin and it blended in really fast, like you saw that. I like how it looks, like the color is really nice on me. Most people would actually use a bit more of a lighter color to conceal and highlight, but I like colors like this because I feel like it really brightens my eye. And what I'm going to do is, 
I'm going to be using my brush. This is also sometimes that I use to apply my concealer on. But today I thought, let me just use the sponge to give it a try. And I'm just using some powder here from Sasha Buttercup. I'm going to go in and just apply and set my under eye. From this point on, we're just going to be doing my full face routine. I'm just contouring my face here, outlining everything, blending everything in, and then going to go in at one point using my favorite, or one of my favorite highlighters from MAC, Gold Deposit. All the OG girls know this one. It was like the beginning and also apply my lashes. I think in a future video, I'll show you how I apply lashes, a very simple and easy way to begin applying your own lashes at home. I already took up my hair, I'm not doing it, but this concealer is concealing and I'm I'm loving it. So you can see what the concealer looks like on already. I think it did a really good job. I'm loving how it looks. I'm loving how it looks on. It concealed like I would have liked it to conceal. I like to go for that kind of thicker contour look it looks like. <laughs> We're going to make these lips glossy. Should we leave it like this? That's a big fro. Yeah. I think we should leave it like this. Yeah! Yeah, what do you think about the concealer? Did you like how it blended into my face? I actually love the consistency. I think it's quite movable and also comparable to the Fenty. Like a light paintish smell, but the smell doesn't distract me when I put it on. I didn't smell it at all. I like how it feels. I like how big it is. It actually feels like you're using a concealer or a foundation rather than a concealer because of the packaging but this can be used as a concealer contour or highlight or a retouch so you can retouch your face with this and i definitely would say to give it a try if you haven't already i don't know why i didn't try this um, because I was so hooked onto the Fenty, I still am. I still will buy Fenty again, definitely. And next time I buy Fenty, I will be buying two because one is just not enough for me. I love this thing so much. You can use it as a foundation. If you just don't use foundation, you just want to highlight or cover your under eyes, you can use this. Also with this as well from the Born This Way, the multi-use sculpting concealer from Too Faced. You can definitely use this on its own. You don't have to use a con a foundation when you're using this this concealer can be used on its own it is as well a super coverage which is amazing so i would definitely say that if you have a lot of imperfections you would like to hide and i didn't build it a lot i just did a little building with it but if you would like to build on top you can definitely use this and it for sure probably will cover all your imperfections thank you for watching this video that was my review on the born this way multi-use sculpting concealer that is super coverage in the shade chestnut i love this and if you like this video you want to see more beauty videos from me more videos in general from me because i kind of do a large variety of things stay tuned stay subscribed like this video come back for more click on the notification bell so you'll get a notification every time i post a video you will be firstly notified and i will see you in my next video thank you for watching bye